here I know like yeah, two or three, com three companies, Kenyan uh, companies that design solar systems. I can give you the contacts. A uh, company like Davis and Shirtliff, would they be one of them? No, well, they do it, but uh, not the ones. I, there is one called here, like Center for Applied Technologies. Yeah. CAT. Yeah. Okay. Those guys have done some of the systems here. All right. With, I mean, the thing is, like, the quality of the installations here varies a lot. Oh, really? When, this, this village has maybe 15, 20 solar systems wow. in different sizes. And the quality of the material, the quality of the installation, is a huge range. Yeah. And the best is from who? The best is from who? The best is from yeah. Generalia. And from ourselves, of course. Mm -hmm. The system we installed, <laughs> I will show you later. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, this system is very complex. This is. Yeah, you know, we're going to. a poster for the Bali Solar Garden. Where we have uh, 45 kilowatts power Wait for the track. solar module. So it's from energy, it's in Fronteras, uh, together with the, with the local partners, which is Simos Postritos, Mbani, uh, Watoto, Wamungwe. Mm -hmm. So we have like, uh, we have so many things like inverters from SME, uh, that's the solar. We have also the Grupo Generaria, which is involved in the, the, uh, in the creation of the, uh, of the power station. Uh, then the connection in the solar garden. The, we have the sun power, the and Braxia. So, so usually the solar system would be comprised of three, four main elements: yeah? the solar module, the battery system, the charge controllers, and the inverters. Yeah? So this is the solar field, the solar okay. field. Yeah. Solar modules can be crystalline, mm -hmm. amorphous silicon or thin film. Yeah. Those okay. are the, the main technology. This one is polycrystalline. Yeah. Polycrystalline. One is polycrystalline. And where do they yeah. come from? Where are the manufacturers of this module? That's okay. Power line. I mean, this were the donation from Sun Power. Sun, Sun Power is from the States, but these modules they donated, they were not their own brand. Okay. Uh, most of the manufacturers now they are Chinese manufacturers. They yeah. are Chinese. Chinese manufacturers. There are very few European, and uh, there are two big ones from the States: Sun Power and First Solar. And how many kilowatts are these? Or? For each module, it's 215 watts. 215 watts. Yeah. And uh, they are connected in series of uh, 22 modules. Yeah. So each of these rows will have 66 modules. So three series of 22 connected in series, and three of them in parallel. And each of these rows wants to go the, goes to one of the junction boxes you he was showing you before. And yeah. the voltage output is? The voltage would go up to around 740. Uh, 800. Okay. Volt DC? Yes, DC. Okay, and how much, so then how many watts you say? It is 215, I think the overall power of the plant was 44. 44. 44 kilowatts, so each of these rows would be a bit less, slightly below 15 kilowatts. Okay, and you're planning to put another one here? Oh. Well, this was completed until March, and the, these modules that we took out of here, you will see them later on there, they were used for the solar pumping. Oh, you because moved them. The initial idea was to, to throw a cable from here to the pumps, and then we decided it was better to take the modules close to the border. Okay. Okay. Why did you decide to do that? Because of the resistance in the cables, or? Yeah, because the resistance in the cable, plus we were not sure how the pump would respond to any peak. Okay. Because, as you see, like, when this power is a polytechnic, and for example, when a powerful machine is mm -hmm. switched on, you will see there is, there is a voltage peak. Yeah. And you see, like the inverters, they both like this, and that would create like distortions on the signal to the pumps. Okay. So, and uh, we were afraid that may damage the Might pump burn out in the, the pump. long term. That, that yeah. That could damage the pump. Okay. So we decided. Yeah, they're sensitive items.
so as so here here the the, the, the parallel connections are made here. So these are three strings of 22 modules connected in series, yeah? See, and then this one string, this is another of the strings, and this is the other of the strings, yeah? And the three of them go together, so you have here three plus, three minus, that go into the junction box inside the container. Okay. And there they do another parallel connection, all, all, two, all these three are connected parallel inside there. Okay. From the solar module, said we connect to from this uh, this box. So after that, we have three boxes. Eh? So we have we have three 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 rows eh? of the of the solar modules. So at the moment we have two. But so we are using two boxes. So two inverters are at one. And who is this? It's a me. That, that's a German manufacturer. That's a, I mean, that's a main manufacturer in the world, basically. But you will have to decide when, when designing your system. It's like whether this is uh, to have AC coupling and DC coupling. These inverters, these blue ones, are grid connected inverters, so they are not supposed to be used for off grid because they just see the grid and synchronize your production to the grid. So usually in off-grid systems you will have this type, yeah? like the ones we have in the cleaning, in the guest house. Off-grid inverters, they create the grid. Yeah? This design has some advantages. Is you use these ones, the yellow ones, you create the grid, and with these ones you operate as, as if this was an actual, this is like a microgrid. Yeah? So these are commercial inverters which are cheaper, more efficient, and if you create your grid with these ones, those will fit into that grid. So you have that option, or you only use these ones. Okay. Those ones are a bit more expensive and uh, a bit less efficient. Okay. Those ones are connected to the battery. So those are also called off-grid or battery inverters, and those ones are connected to the solar modules. Okay. The pump is 5.5 kilowatts. We, we have installed 8.4. So we have installed. This is called a buffer. Yeah, we have a buffer. So we don't want to leave it somewhere. Yeah. And, uh, the pump is Yeah. Okay. And then on the screen, you will see. So now let's say to this sun. And this, that inverter, that serving inverter, that's up to 10 kilowatts, can manage up to 10 kilowatts, and that's very cool. Oh, yeah. Not so amazing. 
So you have no batteries here. No batteries. And where's the tank? Behind. Behind. From the pump? From the well, from the bore. From the bore, I guess. So the booster, the, that has its, the borehole has its own variable frequency. Yeah, and its own solar. Uh oh, why didn't they elevate the tanks? This one here? Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you elevate them so you don't need as much booster? Yeah. You know? Yeah. You don't yeah. know why? No, this was like at the beginning of the, of the building. Mm -hmm. And from here it comes to the highest point in the whole building. Okay. Yeah. This system is similar to that in the... Here we only have the, the batteries. We have the modules up there. We have this charge controller and we have this is a protection box. This one is a protection box, we have the inverter. So what it does, we use the solar modules to charge the batteries. And then we have uh, this is the protection box between the battery and the inverter and also the charge controller. So Mostly, this one is used to protect the batteries. Mm. Okay. We have this one, the protection box, which protects the solar modules. This between the solar modules and the, the charge controller. Mm. So that way, from the modules to here, the charge controller, uh, to, to this box, then to the charge controller, through this protection box, to the batteries, to charge the batteries and the discharging is to move the inverter. So we only have AC loads here. Oh, okay. It's not DC loads. No DC loads, okay. So, but I understood you say what kind of load you have here. You have some appliances like refrigerator? Or? Yeah, 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 you yes, can see the refrigerator is yes, there. We have a fridge here. Okay, so, and that's an AC fridge. Yeah. 